celebrating Black History Month throughout the entire month of February, recognizing the contributions that African Americans have made, the way they've been uh, pioneers and innovators. Uh, and one of those innovators was a giant in th the distilling business, uh, the great craft it is, an exceptional man named Nearest Green. I want to say Ernest, <laughs> but Nearest Green or Uncle Nearest. Now there's a whiskey name for him. I have Tristan Cripps here from Colonial Wine and Spirits and also Richie and Sherry of Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey. First, let's talk about, I guess this is something you're selling in Colonial Wines and Spirits, right Tristan? Absolutely. You know, it, it's not often that we come across a product that has such a great story, mm -hmm. but it's also such a great whiskey. And and so we're happy to have Richie here, and we're happy to, to have Uncle Nearest in our store. Okay, so Uncle Nearest has a really cool story. I guess, Richie, I guess you could tell us the story of wh how he came to what the, the name is Things Take Us For. Absolutely. Um, so our brand is named after the first recorded African-American distiller in United States history. Uh, his name was Nearest Green. And this uh, was like in the 1820s when this yeah, happened? Yeah, he was born uh, around 1820, which okay. is why we use this... Uh, uh, date on our bottle right here um, and he was distilling whiskey on mm -hmm. a farm in a town called Lynchburg Tennessee I've heard of that town <laughs> yeah, pretty famous town in yes. the whiskey industry yes it is um, what some of the other contributions that he made are that he truly is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey he's one of the most important people in our US whiskey history it had to do with like the, the type of wood and charcoal he would use for the distilling is that right yeah absolutely so there's a process called the Lincoln County process mm -hmm. um, it uh, involves running the whiskey through charcoal made from maple trees before you put it in the barrel and that's something that was uh, very much linked to nearest green and that technique is now legally binding for Tennessee whiskey. So his techniques are now what you are required yeah. to use by law if you want to be Tennessee whiskey. And so he, he, you know, I guess you could say he started the whole idea of Tennessee whiskey. Uh, Sherry, but also he, he had some apprentice uh, came along too. Yes. Uh, he kind of kind of learned the craft a little bit. Yes, he a was little known <laughs> for, person perhaps. Yes, he was a young man that came there, and uh, he was known as Jasper Daniels. Most mm. people call him Jack Daniels. Okay, so Jack Daniel learned this from Nearest Green, yes. his his mentor, right? Absolutely, and and those two were completely uh, inseparable during their life. Lives. They uh, they went through their entire whiskey careers together. Um, Jack really learned everything uh, he knew from Nearest, uh, and they stuck together for their entire lives until Nearest decided to retire from the Jack Daniel Distillery in the year 1884. Yeah, he was the master distiller there, so he retired in 1884. You have the 1820 whiskey for his date of birth. What is the 1856 for? The 1856 uh, honors the year that Nearest Green perfected oh, that Lincoln County okay, process yeah. technique, um, and that's the closest year that we can uh, associate with when that technique that is so specific for Tennessee whiskey uh, was perfected and went into it. What are the differences between these three whiskeys? They're all just a little different shades. What's the difference, Sherry? Okay. <laughs> well, here we have our small batch, mm -hmm. and it's going to be about seven years old, and it's at 93 proof. Oh, okay. And what's really special about this is one of his descendants, Victoria Butler, uh, Victoria E.D. Butler, she helps to uh, pick the batches, and she's our master blender. Go ahead and tell about her. You yeah, do better talking than me. <laughs> she's really fantastic. She, uh, Victoria is our master blender. Uh, all distilleries will have somebody who blends their batches of whiskey. Uh, we call them a master blender. Uh, Victoria is not just our master blender. She's also Nearest Green's great, great granddaughter. Oh, my goodness. And uh, on top of that, uh, just like Nearest was the first recorded African-American distiller in United States history, Victoria is the first recorded African-American female master blender in United States wow. history. Okay. So she is upholding her family's legacy very, very well. And so the, the aged more, the, the darker we go, is that it? And this one is the 1856, and it is 100 proof. Okay. And it's going to be 8 to years old, maybe on up to 11 okay. years old. And 1820, what's its this proof? This is a single barrel, and it will be at barrel proof. So it could be at 108, it could be up to 115 proof. All right, you want to get your fix on quicker <laughs> that way. All right, so we get these all at Colonial Wine and Spirits, right? Absolutely, and we'll be tasting them today from 4 to 7 at our all tasting bar. All right, 4 to 7, you want to get the... Is there a charge for that, Tristan? Uh, there's not. There's not a charge. They're they're free samples. It's just a sample. Mm. But, <laughs> it's just uh, a sample. But, but it's not the whole bottle of eighteen twenty or eighteen. We will, 18, uh, we will have them. Uh, Richie will be there. Will be. It'll be available. Right. At the taste Come by, meet Richie and Sherry, and uh, try to guess where Richie's actually originally from. <laughs> Lives in Louisville now. We'll find out where he's really from.